when my little watermelon plant got a watermelon on it, I was so excited. But then at harvest time, this is what I got. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today on the Figs Fowl Farm. Sometimes your harvest just isn't that great. Well, I've come to the end of my gardening season, and now it's time to harvest. That exciting time when you go out and you see all the wonderful things that you've worked so hard for. And normally that's the case, but not here on the Fixed Fowl Farm. Oh no, once again, I have had some major disappointments when it comes to my harvesting season. And the biggest one, I think, has been my watermelon. I got one little watermelon, teeny tiny. The plant just didn't do well being planted in a container. Well, that's not the only thing. I also planted carrots. I planted so many carrots. I replanted and planted again and planted again. This is the harvest that I got. That's, that's the harvest for the whole year. That's all that I got. Now granted, I planted a little bit different kind of carrots than I've ever planted before. The multicolored ones, I thought I would experiment on them. Getting them to germinate and actually grow can be a bit tricky because you have to keep the seeds moist for a long period of time. And apparently I just was not successful with that. Another reason why I didn't get a very good harvest was because so many things bolted. My chard, it bolted so much that, well, I've got, I've got enough seeds to last me for the next 10 years from my chard. So I guess that's kind of a good thing, but I was hoping to get some produce from it. Another thing that bolted was my fennel. In fact, I got no fennel whatsoever, no bulb, nothing, and radishes. How many times did I plant radishes? Yeah, bolting. Bolting was a problem for me this year. And there were some things that I did get a little bit from, but certainly not a bountiful harvest like I expected. My peas, snow peas and sugar peas, I got a few here and there that I could munch on and put in my salads, but certainly not what I would call an abundant harvest. I did purple bush beans and I got enough to do a few canned pickled beans, but certainly not what I would have expected coming from as many plants as I had. Now, some of the reasons why I didn't get a harvest, I have to admit, were my fault. I, I failed. <laughs> One was I didn't plant them in a sunny enough space. And the whole point about your garden is it really does need water, fertilizer, and sun. And so a lot of the things didn't do well because I didn't give them enough sun. Another problem was I planted too much in a small area. So I didn't get as much of a harvest as really I should have. So those were things that I did wrong. But other things, I don't know. Bugs, bugs took out a lot of my harvest this year. I got absolutely no winter squash. At the beginning, it was looking great and doing so well. And then about the time that the fruit started to come on, the squash bugs hit it and pretty much decimated it. This is my entire harvest of these cucumbers. That's it. As Robert Kennedy said, only those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly. Yes, I guess I'm in good company. I have failed, but I am happy with whatever I can get as a harvest and maybe someday I will achieve greatly. Well, that's how it goes on the Fig's Fowl Farm. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a little comment, and let's continue to encourage each other in our failures and in our greatness. 
See you next time. Mary, wake up. You're on camera. Mary?